Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and I am back on video. I got a little bit of a bit better video camera borrowing from somebody, so if you want to help me out, get a better video camera that is mine, press the like, comment below, share it with your friends, and this week we're doing command signs. I keep doing this. I did this last week, and I the video footage got messed up, so here we go again. Round two, I can do it better for you without problems. Um, so command signs is a fun little plugin that you can uh, use to run commands on signs. You can actually put it on any block you want, but the signs let your users know what they're supposed to press on. There's only one dependency, it's Vault, and it basically just lets you hook into your economy so that you can uh, reward players, stuff like that. So we're going to go, we'll do a few uh, pretty basic usages here and uh, go from there. Um, it can also be used in, in conjunction with tripwire and pressure plate, so yeah. Now, um, it kind of works like a clipboard. You basically load everything up, right-click on the sign that you want to assign it to, and then it loads those commands to those signs. And um, you load the clipboard up by doing command, signs, which line you're going to do, and then the command, and then, you know, for the next line, you do two. So that loads those up, and then you just right-click on the sign. I'll go over how you do that. Um, I like the slightly slow or uh, slower shortened alias, which is just commands and then the number and then the command. Uh, you can also use CS, but it, it will conflict with world edit command uh, craft scripts if you are running that. Um, yeah, so I already have all these uh, um, lined up. So basically, you right click on this and it will actually <laughs> figure it out. Um, they. Some of these still have them on there. This is uh, set to daytime, so we can right-click on it. You can see that it ran a command um, to set it to daytime, but there's this night one, nighttime one is not set. So let me actually just show you what it looks like. Commands, edit. This is one of the, the things that you can do is commands, edit, and then you can right-click on the sign, and then here is the command that this will run. Pretty simple, straightforward. The one thing to note is this caret. Uh, it's uh, shift uh, six. This denotes that it's going to run um, as, let's see, run as an op. Um, you can also put a star in front of it to run it um, with for people that have access to certain permission nodes or a pound sign or hashtag for all you youngins out there. You can put this in front of it to run it from the console. Um, so this will allow you that even if you're not op, which I'll just de-op myself real quick, uh, you could still run it there, but um, I need to re-op myself to be able to set these uh, command signs. So uh, we have this set to daytime, so we want to set one to nighttime now. So we're going to do commands one, and then we'll do the, the caret time set 14,000, which is nighttime. And then it says ready to add. We'll right click on that. Command sign enabled, and you can right click on it. Bam. Nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime. Okay. Uh, so we've already gone over um, if you want to edit what's already on there, you do commands, edit, you right click on the sign and it'll show you what's there. And then you actually remember to do this, which I didn't do a minute ago. You do commands, edit to finish editing the sign. Otherwise, you'll keep editing it. You can also do, uh, you can clear, you can remove. Uh, commands clear is just going to clear everything that's already in your clipboard that hasn't been assigned. Commands remove will remove everything from the next block that you right click on. And then of course you can do copy which you'll right click on the block you want to copy and then right click on whatever you want to assign it to and it'll copy everything over. It's brilliant. So let's do a little bit more complex just to get a little bit more into it. Um, and I can show you uh, use of variables. These are the variables. There's a whole bunch more that you can find. Um, I'll put them in the link description. Go and check those out. But you, some of the most po po <clears throat> some of the more popular ones is world name money. And so we're gonna do a reward and edit um, or reward and teleport. Let's do a quick edit. Oh, I uh, missed the S. Okay. So what this does is on line one, um, you know what, actually, let's clear that out, because uh, I'll show you how to load up, I'll, to load it all up. So remove, right click on the sign to remove, it's all gone. So 
We want to go commands one, and then we'll just copy what we did before. So eco, since I'm running essentials economy, so give and then name and then 50 bucks or whatever it is. So that's ready to add. So now we want to do um, commands, whoops, commands two, and then we want to tell everybody else that uh, they did this. So name, ooh, whoa, name has just... I can't type right now. This is this is crazy. Awesome. And then we need a one in there. So then commands three. And then once they finish, we also want to warp them to another place. So I've already set up a warp point that they can warp to. And then you want to put their name in there as well. So then it's all loaded up there, ready to add, ready to add. Right click. Command side enable. Now when they right click on it, you see $50 has been added to your account. $50 has been added, new balance, blah, blah, blah. And then the server announcement, Cost for Christ, has just finished course awesome. And then it warps you to the warp point. So um, that's kind of fun for rewards at the end of parkour courses and stuff like that. Now, this is a little bit more complex sign. Um, I'm not going to go over exactly, you know, I'm not going to do it um, uh, line by line. But I'll just show you what it is. Whoops right here and then I'll demonstrate it. All right, so now we get into a little bit of conditional based commands. So if you wanna test them with something, I use this personally as like kind of a rank up job system thing. Um, it is still kind of flaky, but um, it can be useful for some, I don't know what you'd use it for, you know, the sky is the limit here. So what you wanna do is on line one, you do the condition that it's testing and then what it's going to run after that and then at the end of that is the hyphen that's to end that condition that it's testing so we want to test to see if they're a donor and then this is a way that you can send a message directly to the user instead of sending it to the server for everybody to see is instead of the backslash you do the forward slash and you just type out the message and it's going to show up so what this does is it the at symbol is what it's this is the conditional test um, as you can see down here, these are the conditions that you can test. You can test groups, permissions, time, or a percentage. So you can set up a, a condition that it only works 50% of the time, whatever you want. So back to this, uh, we're testing to see if they're in the group donor. Um, and then this uh, question mark is like a uh, optional. It's a way that you can have this test run um, without getting an error, error message, regard, even if it does run. I'll let you test that out. You can figure out what I mean. So if they're a donor, it's going to say you are a good person, and then it ends the condition test. And then you can also do if they're not a donor. So this uh, explanation point is the not or reverse test. So if they're not in the donor group, it will say you should become a donor, and it will send them a link to whatever it is. Um, so let's see. I'm not sure which. Uh, first, I'm going to de-op myself to just show that these will still run uh, as um, not an op. So I'm not an op and I'm not even a donor, I'm a member. So if I right click on this, I get the message, you should become a donor at whatever. So now I'm gonna set myself, uh, PEX user group set donor. So now I've set myself to donor, which the donors, the usernames are uh, different color. Now right click on it. You are a good person. So that's about it. Um, like I said, it gets really complex or it can be really complex. And there's a whole lot of more information on the author's website. So check it out. Hey, if you found this helpful, leave a comment and like below and um, I'll do my best to respond. And uh, yeah, this is Cost from Vic Friends. And as always, enjoy the game. Hey friends, uh, doing something a little bit different. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to take a little more, few moments to respond to some of you guys from this last week. Uh, maybe you just want a shout out, put it in the comment of one of my videos and I'll respond to it. Or um, I'll just v respond verbally. Uh, I only pick a few of them because I don't have a lot of time, so that's how it goes. Um, so shout out to Darkhawks. Loved your map. Um, hopefully we'll make at least one more. Also... I play Quakecraft too. Maybe I'll see you on, take you on. Um, I must warn you, 
kind of good. Sponsor Mr. Boy Boy. We'll see about doing a collaborative work. Um, I messaged you there. You should get a team together and we'll take us on for the Mick Friends Versus series. That'll be fun. So what you want to do to get your, your IP address, your Vodafone IP is actually the same as your server IP address. And you actually want to leave that, that spot blank in your config.yml file. Leave it at 0.0.0. .0. Um, you'd want to use that if you're running multiple servers and on the same place. And I doubt that you're doing that. It's kind of a really advanced setup. Um, to get your IP, if you're running it on your computer, just go to google.com and type in what is my IP. If you have a hosting company, ask them what the IP address is. I'm sure it's listed somewhere in your account setup. Hey, uh, sorry, it's the command I actually told you was wrong. Uh, it's been a little while since I worked with that aspect of World Guard and I didn't have the time to look it up, I'll be honest. Sorry. What you want to do is slash region, space flag, space, and then the two underscores global, and then the two underscores again, and then a space, and then you want to do build, space, deny. I'll put it up on here. Hopefully that helps you out. Let me know. So the IP address of my server is game.mcfriends.us. Hopefully see you on there. Have some fun. Um, if your config files get messed up, you can always just uh, delete and you know remove them from the folder and then rerun the server and uh, it'll recreate the whole thing to the default and then you can kind of contrast and compare them. Um, hopefully that helps you out. Anyway, that's all for uh, this week. And um, so this is Kaz. Enjoy the game. Bye. <laughs>